Yeah, we spoke to you last week, of course, when you revealed all what was going on with your, your players that you were releasing and transfer listed. What's been happening since then? What can you tell us on the positive notes? Uh, the, well, the positive notes are at the moment that we've signed a goalkeeper, um, Scott Brown, and we're really pleased about that because I, I felt that, obviously, with all the problems we had last year with goalkeepers, we needed to get a goalkeeper who'd played a lot of games and who was actually playing games and um, he obviously you know, fits the bill, he's had a good season last season, he's played in every game for Wickham and obviously he's had a successful season as well because he got promoted so I'm really pleased that we've been able to to get him in, uh, we had to do it quickly um, because obviously there's other clubs interested um, but the fact that um, He's from Wolverhampton as well, um, you know, was was in our favour and um, I'm really pleased that we signed him. And when you say you moved quickly, it looks to me as though he was, <coughs> excuse me, the number one target. Um, he was because of the games he played and because a lot of goalkeepers who obviously, by the nature of the position, you only have one goalkeeper, although we did use sort of seven, but, <laughs> but uh, you, you know, you, you have one keeper, so invariably there are a lot of keepers about who have not played a lot of football. But obviously with Scott, he's been used to playing and that's important. Yeah, and how important is it that he's, as you say, he's got all the games under his belt, but to me he would look a leader as well. And is that something that you wanted from, from the back from the back player? I think it's important. It's an important position with, with the fact that we've got... If you look at what we have, we've got a, a young right back, we've got a young centre back as well, and we've got a left back at the moment who's still learning the game. So I think it's important. Like I said, we need to get a, a goalkeeper who's played games and who's experienced. It has been a nuisance for you, as you're pointing out. Is it a relief now that you, you've got your, your choices of your goalkeepers that you're going to work with straight from the off? I do feel it's important. Um, you know there wasn't a lot of clarity with the goalkeeping situation last year, but um, obviously we've at the first chance we've got we've we, we've changed that, and now it's up to you know to Scott to you know to prove that he's the number one keeper, and we've got Sam who will challenge him for that for that spot. It's quite easy to think that the geography suits, but then again, if you look at it from his point of view, he's just won promotion. He had a chance to go and play in League One. He's made a he's made a big decision himself. That he has, but um, like I say, you know this club has played at a higher level. It's got to have aspirations, you know, to do better. And obviously, he sees it as a challenge, and um, he knows. You know how keen we are to to improve on on last season. So, you know he's well aware that um, he's joining a club that that needs to do a lot better. Was that was was that the key selling point that, that how you attracted him to to the Vale Park? I, I think um, you know although there is bigger clubs in football, when you actually you know come to the ground, it's improved dramatically from when I was here, and it is in this division. It it is a big club. And we've got to get, we've got to, like I say, instead of being negative, we've got to be more positive and we've got to get a lot more positivity around the club. And um, like I say, it, this is a club that we have to make the supporters proud of. And, you know, with Scott, you could see how keen we were to, to bring him here. And um, he, he fancies a chance. It's interesting what you just said there, because your old boss, of course, Rudgy, used to have to take him away from Vale Park to sign them on. But you know how this place has improved, and you, you still feel it's still attractive to, to players. I think I think invariably, you know, the, you sign any players. A lot of the time, it, it financially it comes down to money, and in, in a you know would be lying if I said that that wasn't. Uh, uh, a big factor. Um, there will be teams in this league who can pay more than us, um, but with some players, they reach a point where it's not about the money. It's about the home life. It's about the location where they want to live, and there's a lot of other factors come into it. If it's going to, if it's purely about the money, then then there will be clubs who can pay a lot more than us. That's a fact. But 
there has to be other sides of the of the coin. The fact that the club at this level is a big club, it has played higher, it's got good facilities, and uh, it can generate support if the, if the team's doing well. So the, there's still a lot of plus points, even though we've had a you know a really poor season last year. So you know what's coming next. That's one done and dusted, and you know thanks for explaining everything. What's happening now? It's still a busy, busy time for you. Uh, where are you moving? Have you got again positive thoughts and vibes? Yeah, yeah. We've we've got um, other players that we expect to sign, and we've got. I'm talking with several players today who are going to come to the ground. Um, but it takes time to sign a player, uh, as we all know. But um, the ob objective is that when we get here in to start pre-season, that we've got as many new signings that we can fit into the budget as possible. The good thing for you is they're, they're coming to you pretty quickly after the season's ended. Whether you get them over the line is another thing, but you're getting in early. If you don't, if you're not proactive in trying to sign players, then you know, it, you, you've, you've got to be out there and you've got to be competing against other clubs. At the moment, the people that we're speaking to are speaking to other clubs, but you've got to try and get in there first. You've got to try and, you know, engage with, with the people and, and so they get a good feel for the club and um, like I say there'll be nobody who comes here for the money in terms of that's the reason they're coming because we don't pay enough that it's going to be purely based on, on a financial implication so there's got to be other reasons why you want to come.